Let's explore Cook's theorem. This foundational theorem establishes the first MP-complete problem and proves that Boolean satisfiability, also known as SAT, is computationally equivalent to all problems in MP. Let's define the Boolean satisfiability problem, often called SAT. The problem definition can be summarized as follows. Given a Boolean formula in conjunctive normal form, also known as CNF, we want to determine if there exists an assignment of truth values, that is true or false, to the variables that makes the entire formula true. For example, we have a formula like this, x1 or not x2 or x3, and not x1 or x2, and x2 or not x3. The question is, can we assign true or false values to x1, x2, and x3 such that the entire formula evaluates to true? Before diving deeper, let's clarify some key concepts regarding NP-completeness. First, a problem is in NP, which stands for non-deterministic polynomial time, if a given solution can be verified in polynomial time by a non-deterministic Turing machine. Second, a problem is NP-complete if it is in NP and every other problem in NP can be reduced to it in polynomial time. Essentially, this means that if you find a polynomial time solution to an NP-complete problem, you found a polynomial time solution to every problem in MP. Here is the formal statement of Cook's theorem. The theorem, published by Stephen Cook in 1971, states that the Boolean satisfiability problem, that is, SAT, is NP complete. More formally, every language in NP can be reduced to SAT in polynomial time. This was the first problem ever to be proven to be NP complete and it has profound implications for the field of computer science. To prove Cook's theorem, we need to show two things. First, we need to show that SAT is an NP. This means demonstrating that SAT solutions can be verified in polynomial time. Second, we need to show that SAT is NP hard. This involves proving that every problem in NP can be reduced to SAT in polynomial time. Let's start by showing that SAT is in NP. This means we need to provide a verification algorithm that can check a proposed solution in polynomial time. Here's how such an algorithm might look. The input is a Boolean formula phi and an assignment a. For each variable xi and phi, substitute xi with a of xi. Then, evaluate the resulting expression. Return true if phi evaluates to true. The time complexity of this algorithm is order of the size of phi, meaning it is linear in the formula size. Thus, SAT is indeed an NP. Now, for the more challenging part, showing that SAT is NP hard. This requires us to demonstrate that every NP problem can be reduced to SAT in polynomial time. Here is the reduction strategy. For any NP problem L and input X, Simulate a non-deterministic Turing machine M that decides L. Then, convert M's computation on X into a Boolean formula phi. The formula phi is satisfiable if and only if M accepts X. The key insight here is to encode the Turing machine configurations, transitions, and acceptance conditions as Boolean constraints. In conclusion, Cook's theorem demonstrates that SAT is NP-complete. This result established the first NP-complete problem and opened the door to identifying thousands of other NP-complete problems through polynomial time reductions. The significance of Cook's theorem can be summarized as follows. If any NP-complete problem can be solved in polynomial time, then P equals NP. This would have massive implications for cryptography, optimization, and many other fields. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.